Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I thought since this was uh, my generation weekend, I would talk about some music uh, that got me excited about buying records when I was, um, you know, just getting into my teenage years. Um, obviously, when I was younger, I was really into Kiss, but when I actually started spending my own money on records, um, there was a movement of music that was happening in the UK called the New Wave of British Heavy Metal. And um, there used to be this uh, shop in my hometown called Sights and Sounds, and they would always carry um, all these crazy import records by bands I'd never heard of. And um, I started buying them and really got into this uh, movement of music. And uh, some of the bigger bands from that era in the beginning of the New Wave British Heavy Metal was Def Leppard, which really after their first album, they kind of abandoned the whole you know, label of New Wave of British Heavy Metal. But anyways, you also had Iron Maiden, they were a big one. And, you know, these were the albums before Bruce Dickinson joined, and I was really into Iron Maiden on these first couple albums, and I would buy anything Iron Maiden. I mean, they always had, you know, cool, like, 12-inch EPs that came out with, like, their singles and stuff, so, I mean, Anything that had an Iron Maiden logo on it, you know, I was buying it. You also had Saxon, still a great band, still releasing great records until today. And Motorhead, obviously, they were, you know, a big band during that time. Girls' School was another big one. But there was also a lot of bands that were really great during that time that got a lot less attention um, and I would buy pretty much anything. The way I found out about most of these bands was through a magazine called Kerrang, which I still have quite a few of these laying around. But if I read about them in Kerrang, obviously before using the internet, um, I'd read about them in Kerrang and then I would go to Sights and Sounds and you know, they would have the record there. But here's some some of the lesser known bands. Uh, a band called Dark Star. Diamond Head, which were very influential on Metallica and a lot of the thrash bands that started in the Bay Area. Holocaust is another great one. Savage. Angel Witch. Uh, let's see here, Battle Axe. Demon. A lot of times you'll see they had really kind of uh, graphic or scary looking album covers. A lot of times the album covers were a lot scarier than the music. So, um, Raven was another great band. Gaskin, great album. Um, Venom, At War with Satan, scary there. Uh, Tank, which find it's a band called Wildfire. I think they were actually from Belgium, but they got lumped in with the uh, the way of British heavy metal quite a bit. Uh, Which Finder General, another cool band, and Twisted Sister. I'm showing this one because obviously they weren't from the UK, but they went to the UK and that's where they first you know, got a record deal and got famous or whatever, and that's how I found out about Twisted Sister was from reading the Kerrang! magazine from the UK, and uh, and this is actually an import copy. Another band is not from the UK, they're a French band called Trust, but they were also big in the New Wave British Heavy Metal. So anyways, those are the kind of bands that got me into collecting records and being excited about going to the record store. Um, playing in the back is this compilation put together, came out in the late 80s, so if you've never um, gotten into the New Wave British Head Mo, this is a great place to start. It really covers a lot of the great bands from that era. So, there you go. See you next time.